Hey, hey, how's it going? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Um, I actually just got my hair cut yesterday. What'd you think? Not too shabby, huh? Um, and the reason why I bring that up is because I actually get it from this guy, from this barber that lives, um, you know, he's got, uh, he actually works in a shopping mall very, very close to my home. And um, I was getting my hair cut from him the other day and he was complaining to me. He, he basically said, um, you know, Aaron, this is my last day here. I'm, I'm actually going to stop working uh, in this barbershop. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, why? You know, he, he's so good at what he does. It's, it's funny because he's, he's Indonesian um, and he I, guess he, I guess he got a job from Indonesia. Uh, you know, the owner brought him in and there's a whole group of them that are Indonesian. And he's really, really good at what he does. And he works in one of those really like modern barber shops, so they, they dress really nice, you know, they look like uh, they've got kind of the vests on and the shirts and everything and all their, their nice equipment and stuff like that. It's a really nice place. It took me a long time to find someone that I like to cut my hair, right? And he said, well, what happened was, you know, a couple of months ago, our boss pulls us in and he lines up uh, he lines us all up and he says, um, look, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to be slashing all of your salaries in half and I'm gonna be slashing your commissions that you make per haircut in half as well. Take it or leave it. That's just the direction of the company. And when he told me that, I was just confused. I was like, why would you do that? Because this barbershop, I've been, I've been going there for about a year now and it, it's really good. You know, the quality is very high, the place is very nice and everything. And you know, this guy is obviously hungry for money, right? The boss, the guy who's running the business. And it's so sad because um, my barber, his, his name is Leo. Um, so Leo has basically been working for them for a couple of years now, right? And um, because he just got married and, you know, he wants to start a family and he wants to build a home and, you know, have kids and all that stuff, he can't afford to keep working in this barber shop at the salaries that, that the, you know, of the new salaries and the new commission structure that, that his, you know, boss basically has decided to, to cut him at, right? So I was sitting in there getting my hair cut and I was looking around and this barbershop used to be full of people, okay? And there were only three of them left. And I was like, well, if, you know, if he's cut all the salaries, how many barbers are left in this barbershop? And he's like, well, um, you know, my brother and I, uh, he's got a twin brother, Leo and his twin brother. He's like, we're, we're leaving tomorrow and there's only gonna be one barber left, Charlie who is basically, so this entire barber shop that used to be really, really popular, it's called Gents Cut, right? And this really nice shopping mall near my house. Um, they literally went from seven barbers to one barber because the boss was just too greedy and just doesn't understand how to run a proper business, okay? And it's, it's really, really sad. And, and so when, when I got my haircut yesterday, it just made me think, you know? It just made me think about what real life is like and, and you know people out there that have a job and it doesn't really matter what you do okay you could be working in a corporate job you could be a mechanic you could be a barber you could be an artist you could be doing anything okay if you're working for someone else even if you're really really good at what you do and Leo is obviously really really good because it took me a long time to find him and I I only go to him to cut my hair now right it doesn't matter how good you are, if something happens to your business, to sorry, to, to, to your job, if your boss is you know, not a very nice person or if something happens to the business and it goes under or they have to lay you off or they have to cut your salary, that's basically gonna put you in a really, really bad position, okay? And so he basically said to me, look, you know, I, I, so I asked him, I said, so Leo, are you, are you gonna go and you know, go work for someone else or what's the plan? And he's like, well, he's like, Aaron, what's the point of working for someone else if this might happen again? You know, so what I'm gonna do is, um, you know, I'm gonna scrounge up all the money that I have and me and my twin brother, we're gonna go and start uh, a barbershop of our own, probably, you know, 10 minutes down the street. So I hope that, you know, if you like getting your haircut from me, that you're gonna continue being my customer um, and I'm gonna send you my, my address um, and you know, I'll, I'll probably be opening my, my store um, uh, next week, okay? So I'll send you a message. And I said, of course, of course I'm gonna follow you, right? And you know, so a couple of things are going on here, right? First of all, if you have a job right now, right, it's fine, you know, because everybody works in a nine to five job. But as soon as you can, and as soon as you 
can figure out how to start something else on the side, right? Make sure you do that. Don't wait, okay? Because the mistake that you're gonna make in your life is thinking that a normal corporate job or a normal nine to five job is gonna keep you secure, keep you and your family secure for the rest, for the rest of your life. It's not, okay? Because in situations like this, Leo's a great guy. He's really, really skilled at what he does, okay? He's a professional. And yet, because of business reasons or whatever, because his boss is not a very, very good businessman, he, you know, his salary got cut and he can't afford to, you know, to, to, to keep his family going, okay? And instead of going to work for someone else, Leo is doing something very, very brave and he's going off and he's starting his own barbershop with his brother. Now, is he gonna struggle? I think he's gonna struggle a little bit, definitely, because he told me that the rent of his barbershop is gonna cost him 10,000 ringgit every single month. Now, in, in Malaysia, in KL, that's a lot of money. That's like paying 10,000 US dollars a month in the States for your, for your shop, for rental. That's insanely high, okay? So it's not gonna be cheap. He's gonna set everything up and it's gonna be tough, okay? But he's gonna do it, right? And I think that it's the best move that he could make, okay? Um, and sometimes, you know, in life, You've got to make these tough decisions, okay? And you just got to go out there and you got to just make them. And yeah, it's going to be, he's probably going to struggle for the next six to 12 months, but he's never ever going to have a boss who can tell him that he is going to cut his salary in half. And, you know, it, it, you know he's never going to, you know, have that problem of, of, you know, struggling for money once he gets his business up to a certain level, okay? So, you know, that conversation yesterday when I got my haircut with him, first of all, I felt so sorry for him, okay? And then the second thing is, it, it, you know, it, it reminded me about how, how unsecure life can be when it comes to a job. Because everybody, you know, when you grow up, that, that's all people talk about, right? Your parents, you know, if they can afford to, they send you to a good school, they say, work hard, you know, study hard, get good grades, and you're gonna get a good job. And then once you get a good job, it's gonna pay you well, and then you're gonna take that money, and you're gonna work, you know, every single day, Monday to Friday, for the rest of your life, hopefully you're gonna make enough money to look after yourself, build a family, um, and maybe, you know, travel once a month um, out of the entire year, right? So out of 12 months, you might get to, to get, go on holiday for one month, right? Um, and then hopefully you have that secure salary. But to be honest, in this day and age, anything can happen, man. Anything can happen, you know? Governments can go crazy, businesses go under, your boss might suck, you know? Your salary might get cut in half, the economy goes down. There's so many different things. So, what's the moral of this video, guys? The moral of this video is that no matter what you're doing, if you're working a full-time job for someone else, and no matter how good you are, you're not in a secure place, okay? So what you need to do is you need to start a side hustle today okay i don't want you to wait don't wait don't wait till next year don't say oh 2019 that's my time you know 2020 that's when i'm ready to start a business you're never ready to start a business okay you just have to do it all right start a side hustle okay i'm not asking you to quit your job right now because having a job and having that constant income coming in that's important okay you use that to pay for your bills you use that to put food on the table but it's not gonna secure you for the rest of your life, all right? And I knew that nine years ago when I started my online business, okay? I knew that, yes, my job was paying the bills and, you know, it was putting food on the table and it allowed me to have, you know, holidays and go to nice places once a month out of the entire year, okay? But I knew that that's not what I wanted to do for so many reasons, right? One, I could lose my job anytime depending on how the economy goes, right? Two, if I, if I work for someone that I don't respect or was, an, was a real, you know, not such a nice person, right? Then going to work every single day would be hell, right? It would be total hell working for someone that, that is, is a real, you know, not, you know, is a real dick to you, okay? Uh, and then the third thing is that it's just not secure, you know, and you don't have any freedom. What's the point of making all this money when you can't really live the life that you really deserve, right? I mean, in a way, um, you know, a job keeps you prisoner, okay? Because you basically have to be somewhere, do something every, you know, Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, depending on what kind of job you have, right? And so I knew long time ago, nine years ago, that the only way to get around that 
was to start some sort of business, okay? And it just so happens that I, you know, kind of, you know, found the online industry, right? And, and did internet marketing. But, you know, I, I did start with network marketing, MLM first, did that for, you know, a year or so. And then I, I, I you know, I stumbled upon um, going online because that's what I did. I did a lot of research and, you know, and, and here we are today, right? And, you know, that business has... Um, now been able to pay for a lot of a lot of things for me right and it's generating a lot of income finally figured it out but yeah it didn't come easy you know I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy okay so if you're watching all those you know videos out there where you see people with their Lamborghinis and their yachts and their private jets and stuff like that and they make it look really really simple they're just fooling you okay because when it comes to building a business any sort of business all right, whether it's online or offline, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy. Okay, it's gonna be hard work. But is it worth it? Absolutely, absolutely worth it. Okay, and even if you can only generate an additional one thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars in your business, don't you think that would help you? I mean, what can an extra three thousand dollars every single month do for you right now, today? Think about it like that. Okay, even if you had a nine to five job, but you had additional checks coming in from your internet marketing business on autopilot, two, three, four, five thousand dollars a month, what could that do for your life today? Right? And that's the question that you need to ask yourself, okay? Um, and yes, it's gonna be challenging, sure, right? Um, and it's gonna be hard, and you're gonna work hard at it, and you're probably gonna have to work on it, you know, a little bit every day after you come back from the office, and you're probably gonna be tired, right? Um, and you're gonna have to work on the weekends when you wanna be spending time with your family, but is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Hell yeah, it's worth it, all right? Because if something was to happen to you like it happened to Leo, my barber, that would suck big time, okay? And no one deserves that, right? He's trained for years to be a top barber and he still wasn't able to generate the income that, that he wanted to, okay? And so, I mean, that, that's just a huge lesson, okay? So look, if you're sitting on the table right now, if you're sitting on, sorry, if you're sitting on the fence right now and, you're, and you've been watching my videos or maybe this is the first time that you're coming across one of my videos online, right? And you know that you should start a side hustle, okay? You know that you should start an online business, but you, you've just been too lazy, and, you know, you, I, what, I don't know what, what's going on with you, but maybe you haven't, you know, had, you know, you haven't had the, the, the balls to pull the trigger, right? Now's the time to pull the trigger, okay? There is no better time to start a business than right now, right this second, okay? Take, get, get rid of all your excuses, okay? Just get rid of all the excuses because nobody cares, all right? And just figure it out, okay? Now, let me know what you think in the comments below. Does that make sense, okay? Can you resonate with that story, right? Can you resonate with Leo's story? Because, I mean, when he told me that, I was just sad, man. I was sad for him, okay? And I'm sad for all the people all over the world who think that a full-time job is going to be their golden parachute for the rest of your life. Well, you know, it's not. It's not. It's, it's, the way that society has been built is just crazy, you know? We spend way too much money on education, first of all. Most of us are in debt by the time we graduate, and then we work for someone we don't respect. We're tied to, uh, you know, a cubicle and a job um, where you've got to be then, you know, nine to, you know, in Malaysia, most working hours are nine to eight. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. every single day. Can you believe that? That's long, all right? By the time you get home, you have no energy to spend with your family, okay? And then you're just repeating that over and over and over again, okay? So again, let me know in the comments below. Does that make sense? You know, does that, does that piss you off a little bit? Because it pissed me off nine years ago when I, when I realized that this wasn't the life that I wanted to live, okay? Um, and you just gotta do something about it, okay? So look, this, this is my message to you today. Do something about it. The only person that has the power to do something about it is you, okay? Um, so let me know in the comments below what you think, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you thought that, the, you know, the, if this message resonates with you, give me a thumbs up, okay? And listen, if you don't know how to start a business, if you have no idea what to do, if you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to start, right? I wanna do this thing, but I have no idea what to do, I don't know how to get started, then I wanna teach you how to do that if you're interested, okay? It's, it's up to you, of course, right? Um, again, you know, I can, Show, I can show you to, to the water, but you're the one who's got to drink it, right? Yeah? So, listen, if you want to take your life to the next level, if you want to start a side hustle, that's how I started, 
right? I started a side hustle, I worked on it every single night, I worked on it on the weekends, and it became something huge, okay? Um, but yes, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes action, okay? Um, and it takes, um, it takes bravery. All right, you gotta be brave, and you just gotta go and do it. All right, most people just they just don't they they just don't have they don't have what it takes inside to do it. Okay, but maybe you do, and I hope I hope you do. All right, and if you do, then all you have to do is click on the link right below this video. There's a little link right there. It's gonna lead you to my website. Go ahead and leave your best email address in there. All right, and I'm gonna start to send you some training. Okay, it's a four day training course. It's gonna start to get you, you know, it's gonna teach you. Um, some of the steps that you need to go deep and how to, you know, it's going to teach you how to start an online business, okay? And then if you really want to do this stuff properly, all right, um, then you can get into my program, okay? Completely up to you, of course, again, all right? But look, um, you know, that story really resonated with me and, um, you know, I wish, I wish Leo all the best. I, I hope he has a really, really successful business. And you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to stop going to that shopping mall and I'm going to start going to his little barber shop because, you know, once you build a relationship with someone and once you know someone who's got what you want, who can cut really, really good hairstyles, right? I'm going to keep going to him, to him forever, right? And that's exactly how it works online, okay? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And listen, I'll speak to you very, very soon. Again, another video. Have an awesome weekend and take care.